Dale, you just come down to the pub, Craig. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in this piece of shit truck, to be honest. Well, ditch it if you have to. I'm very hot. Okay. That is enough running. Is that him? More than likely. Hey, no. Evening. Oh, wonderful. Evening. Evening. No, that's not Eric, but he's most likely with him. No, this is Eric, so you may not recognize me with the mask on. Oh! oh. You right guys are all there already? already? Mm -hmm. Good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you as well. I'm glad to see you're still, uh, at the risk of making a bad pun, alive and kicking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the former I'm doing okay on. The latter, I try to steer away from. From. Shall we go inside? Sure, sounds good to me. Fine. To my right is Bobby. To my left is Daniel. They, um, they'll just, you know, be watching over me. It's less of you and more of others around. I.e. anarchist or... An Selena other and Charles, individual. you at the back of the town good? Um, somebody needs to get over once I got an IRL emergency, real quick, so... Craig, check to the barn. Actually, if you have any information, or your men might have any affiliates... My daughter's screaming, so I'll be right back. I'll bring one of my security team boys down here and, uh... See if they can have a little chat-chat, a meeting of the minds, you know? But that's agreeable with you, of course. I'm sorry, you gotta repeat that. Radio is going off. Quite alright, um, if it's alright when, um, uh, Mr. Camille and I are done speaking, uh, one of my security boys heard that you have had some trouble dealing with anarchy, and, uh, he might like to have a word with you. Fair enough. But, we'll leave that to later. Right now, we're just ensuring Mr. Camille's, uh, security. Right, back. Right, back. Thank you. Bobby, if you'll excuse me, I do need to sit down. It was a long walk, and my leg is not agreeing with me right now. Okay, grab a seat. Is that our truck? Yeah. Fucking stop here. Fuck you now. Ah. Okay, now I... There's two primary... Stop the truck. ...purposes for this. Exactly meeting. what I said three times. The first one, which Craig? I'd like to do first is... Yes. I'd just like to know the one to my right, anything that wise. you've mm -hmm. gathered about I the knew infection, that. any information you. that you would be willing to, truck, well, share. Anything about Bill. infection Where's rate, infection in times, uh, if you have a percentage right of Stop immunity, if you believe you may have statistics on that. <laughs> Noticed anyone, any mutations, per se, in recent infections? Oh, come on. No, keep calm square, everybody. Well, let's see. Okay. I guess I'll start with what I can tell you about the infection and what we do now. So what we do know about the infection is that it comes in, at least as far as we know, three stages. Um, now, there is a fourth stage that is believed to be possible, but considering that we can't exactly mm -hmm. do neurological checks out in the field, we can't see exactly how far the mind has progressed. Now, the current theories that we're operating under is that stage one would occur somewhere around... 46 hours after first contact with the virus. Um, this would be, of course, the virus it. entering your bloodstream. When the virus enters your bloodstream, um, now this is my personal theory, it works its way along the neurological pathways and up through to the brain there. Now that's just a theory, mind you, I have some more testing that I need to do on that. Now. As it progresses along, uh, the virus will enter into what's called stage two. Stage two usually takes about six to ten hours for it to enter. Um, in stage two, you would begin to notice more of the adverse effects of the virus begin uh, or the body beginning to fight the virus in the case of the immune. Now, in the initial stages, you, would no you might be able to notice that there's some fever, sweating, nausea, vomiting. In stage two of the infection, that would be where things really kick into high gear. Um, from there, we start to yep. see, I don't know if I could call it a total failure of organs, but uh, they definitely start to be working a little bit differently. The nausea and vomiting forget, Bobby, progresses, I just gets much back, worse. So As a matter of fact, the cough progresses. 
Now, early on in the days of um, this infection, we just, uh, a lot of people and doctors that looked at this, they weren't entirely sure exactly what they were looking at. Um, majority of people thought that it may have been, and this is just from what I've been able to ascertain over the past month or so here, some sort of biological attack from the north. Maybe even radiological weapons, we're not entirely sure. But I digress anyways. Um, one of the other things that doctors notice there is that they, some of them have confused it with the flu. I've actually found some documentation in other clinics that have uh, supported my theory on this. Most of them thought, okay, this is some kind of flu, it's something worse than what we think, so we might as well send our uh, incredibly sick people off that we can't do the testing on or t properly diagnose ourselves to a hospital with better facilities. Now, a quick question. These stages, which you note the time on, are we... Yeah. Each stage is independent of the other stage cumulatively? Thank as you. in After stage one, which lasts four to six hours, we speak of stage two occurring six to ten hours after, or approximately six to ten hours after contraction? Uh, this would be uh, cumulative, you're correct. Um, so four to six hours for this first stage to progress into the second stage. And uh, the second stage begins and ends at about the 6 to 10 hour mark, respectively. That's what I've noticed as well. Now stage three, I yeah, assume. Bobby? Well, here in about 10 seconds, uh, I'm going to need you to look up towards the bar and I'm going to need you to tell me. You are correct. Something. Stage three is what you see out there, basically. You're on the silo. Yep. And this I can really see. hypothesized okay, stage yeah. four. Can you see me in the hay bales? Now here's the interesting I'm part. Working, I could see it. I've, I, I myself working, have been working with um, another scientist and trying to gather as much of her notes right, as humanly good. possible to see if I can compare them with my own and Dr. Westerly's, who I'm not sure if you've met before. The name rings a bell, but I'm not entirely sure as yet. Well. Stage four is uh, slightly more complicated than stage three, and we're not, like I said, we're not entirely sure if this stage even exists because I don't have the proper facilities in here, nor am I a neurologist, so I quite frankly wouldn't be knowing what I'm looking at here. Yeah, no, I'm not. But the theory about stage four is that it may actually be a total regression of the brain. Um, We've noticed in many uh, different infected that we've encountered that a lot of these infected uh, seem to be functioning on the most basic of levels. The, now, from some, some things that I've been able to ascertain from the other scientists that I mentioned earlier, she's been a great help, by the way. We'll have to see if I can put oh, you in contact with her. we have somebody coming into town on foot? Um, she informed me that she was able to Which watch direction? a patient as they uh, turned. From the way we came with the truck, they're wearing a green, and it and looks like it it's possibly And it seems like there's a total loss of self mm -hmm. between uh, stage two and okay. stage three. Now, well, what this leads me to they believe look is fucking that right there's me, actually so. some yes, um, altered did. and or completely stopped function in different areas of the brain. Yeah, that's Mark's For right. example, um, okay. the Sorry. part of the brain that's responsible for conscious thought, the frontal lobe. Hi. That is a side note, not the second reason why I wanted to speak with you, but it is, you know, it does, Mark's it bears an another doctor from another place. I, well, I had the... I suppose, morbidly, you can say the privilege to witness someone transformed from essentially stage one to stage three, but it's all documented in my journal, but Shots what in the distance. is really less of just a observation Honestly, and more of what really That's brings me to oh, yeah, sorry. mention it, because, you know, seeing someone turn while scientifically important that was just a single shot wasn't it? not exactly two shots? abnormal yeah, two now. what All right. was different Selena is and, oh, um, let me uh, just turn to the page charles three Selena and charles do you yeah. copy hmm. yeah i yeah. want you guys watching the side we're coming from the forest of zub and from the well okay so saying like that little circle area you know what i mean yeah we're by there anyway okay yeah, Jesus, these, the people, these people are blowing off i can't see anybody I'm looking, yes, I'm on yeah, the hay yeah. um, I, I'm... As, as per what you That's described, near church, I, bet, I like, near the town seem square. to have noticed the exact same things. When did. Stage one you know. was relatively normal. Stage two, she began the to experience a cough, sweating, 
Not already, the guy we're protecting is already here, dude, and he's and talking to one person. Eventually, I said, stay in that street, she began to you know, watch the street. have some sort of... Well, how do I describe it? She... It's almost as if she contracted dementia as if it were an infection. She suddenly forgot everyone in the in a blink of an eye. Go ahead down she the road a bit, see if I can get talking to one of her friends and her brother hey, at the same time. Yeah. No, 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 idly no, no, chatting with them. And then out of heart. nowhere, she just stared right. off into space, you say with blankly. Bill and Daniel, if anybody just will, I will. Something like this. And when her head returned, she just said, Who the hell are you? All right, Liam and Craig. It, it was. Um, it was I want Liam. It was in, watching the It was bar, almost and I want like Craig, I want I've never seen anything like from, it. Okay? You, would, you would think that it would be a slow gotcha. progression, as Craig? if the infection truly does affect the brain, or specifically the hippocampus or other here? parts of the brain. You would think it would be yeah, a slow. Yeah, so I am. Okay, you know, did you hear what I said? Temporal. Uh, no, process, sorry. But it um, was, I it was instant. I want Liam it was almost watching the pub, and I want you watching the shots turned off. town over. I don't know, of course, that this was just a. Sudden, so it would be in scope and you know, see any movement. insignificant event yeah, I, that I'm would not be seeing anything. common in every other case we've noticed, but it it's certainly strange to say the least. And this is the interesting part to me. You may have noticed that I mentioned the time frame for the different stages of the infection there. You may have noticed that I gave each and every time frame about a good two hour birth there for them to actually coincide. One of the things I've noticed that seems to be interesting, and um, from the person that I w actually heard the account from, who watched I see somebody. somebody turn, what were they wearing? For her, it was uh, in her experience, it was more of a gradual uh, fucking kind of uh, at gradual House, slip. If they you are will. wearing a large orange backpack. The patient, of course, uh, seemed to uh, have couldn't really make lost anything most else besides of the that. function. Uh, they're moving um, kind but of more towards the greenhouse. Not quite full depth. Coming towards up. The the There's at least two of them. I'm getting at here. Yes. More close. At least two, yeah. More, uh, hey, more can to say a comatose. Uh, well, just a heads up, we have uh, two guys at Pogorevka. Very well. Just uh, keep an eye on them, I suppose. Yeah, They're moving in our direction. Moving. They're moving in our direction. They're almost to the road. Well, just try to keep them away. Yeah, one thing. Hey. Not sure what those what that. Yep, there's the two of them. Um, Where are they at? Uh, they they're moving so. uh, down the road, coming towards us. Anyways, um, what yes, road? Main, main road. Or the road? Main road coming out of the program. It was a slow progression like, uh, of the virus. She going you know, to that double coffee, green at the end of our road. Nausea. Yeah. She laid down. Okay. And Tell me when they get there, here. I'm gonna be by the truck. You have asked me, Liam. Coughing and just overall complaining. Yes, I agree. Alright, Selena. Make sure nobody. You and Charles make sure nobody comes in our our back end. Okay. After the Sudden dementia. As I okay, uh, one's back still back heading down the road, footage. one's staying the in progress. The progression continued just as, okay. just as Selena, normal. Do you hear me? This was really the only abnormal thing I yeah. noticed from there. She, All right, um, is Charles with you too? She began to mm -hmm. be yeah. delirious. All right, y'all two sure nobody comes back her, here, I'm trusting you. Her speech slurred and turned into a word One's heading back into progress. Uh, they're both heading back. And from there, she both heading back? The consciousness. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're just kind of walking out and then retreating back. Are they looking at us suspiciously? Like the town? Airy, gurgling uh, noises, one which scoped in. Has the then, fucker turned around? Well, I don't know where the fuck these guys are going. I think they're high. Everybody does. Are they coming back towards us? They they started to and then they fucking started running back again. I don't know what the hey. fuck's their problem. Yes, of course. Um, okay. I, I'm sorry for your loss there in that regard as well. Even though you know it's one coming of them fucking laid virus, down in the field and but it's, it's still looked never like easy. he might have pulled up binoculars or something. Well, um, no. But I have no idea. No, it's not. But well, then. This, is, this is the other reason I wanted to contact you. Yeah, they're both running back one, into the to town. Ask any information they're not, to they're get not coming to us. Tiny tidbit no. of information into this massive problem of ours. Number yeah, two. I lost sight. They're behind us. to ask fucking as Melon House. Directly as I can to be involved in your, well, in your mission. I'm, I'm actually quite flattered by the request. Um, out. I'll have uh, to run it by my superior. Um, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. I'd like to get a little bit more information about even, you first. I they're even uh, farther away now. I think they're heading up towards heaven, you know. This in a little bit of time. Yes, you, you'll definitely need to know I'd my call qualifications, at least which people do call me a doctor, but yeah, I'm not. Call it a thousand I'm meters not away. Doctor by a long shot, but... I have more medical training than the average person. I could make that shot. Anymore. But um, uh, you mentioned that you were a med student. Uh, I mean, were you, um, you want to? Were you currently in school or no. were you doing your residency? 
Yes, I, I was um, just Damn. finished right. my first year at John um, Hopkins just University. Clarify. And Came directly over behind here pub as a part of the house, summer that's internship, if you will, you guys in there, right? my professors to or no, we're in the assist pub. in the research. I, just I mean, someone in the investigation pub. of the virus. What? That's how I got here. I just seen I just someone run towards really the pub in inside the pub. Maybe wasn't the best I'm out back. Internship. Oh, is that you? Is it okay? I went to that shed. Oh You're no, probably not. Yeah, actually into um, the building. Let's see here. Uh, do you there? remember the name of I'm the professor who accompanied here? Okay. Crouch, crouch. Yeah, we see. Yeah, it's just Moxie, Daniel, Alex, and the guy in there. Where are you at, Bill? I know he's in my he's journal right tree, somewhere. It's been yeah, a very right long time. Tree. <laughs> good, good, good. Good man. Eyes on you. Taking out zombie. My shot. Yep. Uh, yes, right, yes, uh, Dr. Michael McClaskill, um, he, he was a certified doctor and professor at the university. Do we have eyes on these two again? Mm, McClaskill, McClaskill, I'm trying to see if that rings a bell. Honestly, Were it's been a long time. Were you at the outbreak? Uh, no, I was not. Oh. Actually, I was in Atlanta at, during the time of the outbreak, uh, working at Emory University Hospital. Uh, teaching the courses Bill, there, and of Bill. course working the rounds myself. Oh. Oh. No, Bogarev, go. Oh. Emory, no, that's I'm cool. watching you no, in the I, pub. I, I've lost some. Okay. I, honestly, I, they went out towards Cabinet. Uh, I, I got the job the same way I got my okay, previous job, which is actually part of the reason why yeah. I'm here. Bunch uh, of fucking uh, previously, uh, before Emory University, I worked for the CDC for a few years, and uh, my employer and I actually worked there together for a little while before we both decided to go our separate ways for separate reasons. Me, I couldn't stand a goddamn office politics. Yes, yes, so bureaucracy at work and medical facilities, it always works well in the end, right? Totally, just kidding. Oh yeah, big, big egos. Egos clashing all day. Jesus Christ, you'd think that they would be united in the common cause of helping people, but if somebody gets to attach their name to it and uh, get a little bit of recognition for it, of course, they'll really be trying to get ahead of the rest of us. No, it's always the same wherever you go. Well, that's besides the point. The reason um, I'm asking as for your qualifications is because I am going to have to run this by my employer and see what she thinks. Um, now, how closely are you willing to work with us? How how much experience do you have in dealing with the infected? Have you taken any courses in uh, anatomy, per, per chance, and done the actual anatomy labs? Well, in my one short year at the university, I did take a rather long list of courses which my advisor advised against he said 18 hours is far too many semester hours but I, I told him no I took an anatomy course a basic virology course of course um, an advanced biology course and a few you know generic core classes from here and there a most importantly and though I should believe this should be mentioned that my training didn't start just at university I've spent a good portion of my childhood and adolescence reading rather advanced medical books, oftentimes going way over my head, but it was all those really in the library, and I always found it interesting. So from a young age, I've been picking up bits and pieces about the body, biology, basic chemistry, and in the university, that's when I began to specialize in virology. I took several classes. I wouldn't say that my knowledge goes anywhere near advanced enough to fully understand or even begin to comprehend this virus, but I would certainly be more experienced than the average person. And for the way you make it sound, uh, it definitely sounds that way. Actually, uh, speaking with you, uh, you may consider yourself less than qualified, but I've had some people that have graduated from foreign medical school as well in this country who sound even less qualified than yourself. I'm not sure if that's a compliment to me or an insult to the others, but thank you either way. <laughs>
believe me, uh, I'll show the one story. There was one man who uh, actually, he, he was, I believe he was from Hungary. I have to wonder what the medical schools are like in that country. But um, interestingly enough, he thought he had met a man who seems to have some kind of control over the infected. Now I can be the first one to tell you that's not the case. <laughs> I don't think any living person could actually control these things. The best you can do is uh, maybe toss something in the opposite direction and control which direction they're going to run. Which, by the way, I'll have to show you that at some point. It does actually work. Huh. That's um, interesting, but doesn't surprise me. But yeah, this this man he claims he take he had taken a, a blood sample, and I have n no I have earthly idea what he was planning on doing with this blood sample, because it didn't seem like the man was exactly set up to study these things. Didn't have a lab. Didn't have any. Didn't have any of the equipment necessary to study actually perform any hematology. <sighs> but anyways, I digress. Uh, as he was collecting the sample, he could have swore he said the man's blood glowed. I pressed him a little about it, and uh, his friends informed me that he'd been taking heavy doses of psychotropic medications at the time. Nice. Yeah. Nobody can sound as unqualified as that man did to me. <laughs> For the record, the infected's blood does not glow. It does not glow, gentlemen. His theory was yep. uh, perhaps that it had become radiated at some point while spending time in the north. Let me clear up another misconception here. Irradiated blood does not glow. If you receive radiation, you do not actually glow, for the love of God. It's amazing people even think that. Yeah, the worst thing you'll be again Hello? to experience by uh, exposing yourself to where radiation is, is the early symptoms of radiation this? poisoning, which if you're feeling the Aaron? symptoms of radiation uh, poisoning, you've uh, probably Pablo, exposed uh, yourself too much. Out. You're probably okay. going to be out uh, of commission for a week or week two. Well, we're talking to the man now. Or Fortunately, Dr. I haven't Alex come across anybody with radiation poisoning out here, though I have... It's also people in the nearby town, but they ran off somewhere else. I'm going to take a lap around the town and see if I see anything. Uh -huh. Selena and Charles, you I guess are doing? absolutely correct. I've had to warn several civilians from, to stay away from that place. What, Selena? Quiet. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, well, we don't even have any other time of Yeah, I'm surprised. You know, uh, let's see here. You said you studied at John Hopkins. Got your professor's name. Uh, yeah, I got one, right? Okay, so Where? here's the deal from what I can do for you. Yeah. As I said, That's I'm going to run this by my That's Bill. I got eyes on Bill. Uh, no I'm just, just wondering about how house. she may respond to this, to be perfectly honest. I are in a house. Bill, what the shit you do? Most of yeah. the time, the most predictable thing about her that you can actually guess is that she's a bit of a bitch, but I digress. From there, if she gives you the approval, what we're going to do is I'm going to have some uh, clearance paperwork shipped in because uh, uh, some of the matters that we deal with are rather sensitive. Uh, the clearance paperwork itself will come through the U.S. government. The uh, the U.S. government Wait. who has been handling this paperwork has completely redesigned their uh, paperwork. Go ahead. So, so, the U.S. government is still functioning. There are pockets and enclaves of it that are still functioning. There is actually still a functional facility in Quantico. Quantico managed to seal themselves up, so that's where most of our requests have been going to. So, so is it fair to assume then that you're all employed by the United States government? So that would be a misconception. Uh, we are currently working mm -hmm. as contractors yes. for the United Nations. Uh, that does not mean we are with the United Nations themselves. However, like I said, we are merely taking the paycheck and doing the best that we can with it. I see. So, but the United States government does still exist. That's the uh, that's the bigger point. A little surprised at that, honestly. Yes, the United States government exists, uh, as well as several other governments from European nations, as far as I've heard, at least. Uh, I haven't had okay, any experiences uh, this with is myself. Uh, uh, oh, I see. I got go a quick drop in the airport in between trash. here. Uh, okay. A few airports in between okay. here and, uh, or well, I should say, I say here, from Atlanta to Utah's. And uh, Atlanta would actually be not the most accurate location. I, I myself left from uh, the Fort Dobbins Reserve Air Force Base. 
Uh, there was, when I left there, there was actually still government Who's forces that? that are still holding out. And there was government forces that I'm were still pushing again. into Atlanta as well to try to fight back guys. infected. Yeah. Where you at, Bill? So not all of them. Hello, Bill. I thought you guys were in the greenhouse. No. Plenty of the world's governments <laughs> are actually still out there and fighting. So Human they're not all and they're on their, their cam, cam, right, Bill? Yeah. It's good to know. In the zone. But, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, clearance paperwork. Uh, the clearance paperwork itself would come from the U.S. government and be processed by them. This would be through the process of a form that's called an SF-87. Now, I originally had to apply for this clearance myself when I worked for the CDC. Uh, back then, it was the SF-86. It was about 135 pages. Does anyone else get scared they're going to accidentally pull the trigger while they're them. overwatching? Yes. <laughs> My God. All the guy in time, I do. The SF-87 is like actually a revised form of the SF-86 that they've come up yes. with very recently I'm from the last few months right, to sort of expedite the process. Before I didn't shot you when I first met you, is Roy. Work with you know, the virus and to actually to trust. Um, it goes over the same high points that the SF-86 would. You see anything uh, down as, the road? Um, to give me an example. Has the nothing. foreign governments have you ever worked for one? Uh, do you have any holdings in foreign countries? This sort of thing. Just to be able to last place I saw whether or not you be compromised with what you're doing. Just Short answer: No. Anyone when the two airway ammo? That's huh? usually everybody else, really, yeah. but you never know exactly yeah, how many people there. you uh, know on an international level, so you really start thinking about it. I myself had some friends overseas. Where should I set up with my sniper my when I get to Sorry, uh, when my wife and I went on our honeymoon got a long two time snipers ago. At the, long the, in the apple orchid. I made a few the friends, still yeah, keeping them That'd be a good angle for him to see all behind. behind. Governments or foreign nationals has been kept to a minimum, except for you know, of course, China, Russia. Just let us know when you're coming in, around here, so that we don't right, shoot you. Know, um, that's to be expected. Uh, if I may butt in, I do have a question. The, you said you have uh, people you're working with here, right? That is correct. How big is your team of uh, what can I call you researchers? But. Well, we have researchers and some security contractors with us as well. Um, I don't think it would exactly be the best idea for me to disclose exactly how many of us there are. It's for our own right. personal safety. I hope you understand. Yeah, I can understand that. I just hope it, um, I was asking, I was making sure it's not like just you and one other person, you know? Oh, God, no. I wouldn't survive longer than a week out here if it was just me and somebody else. I'm still amazed that I'm still alive this day. You and me both. Okay. Well, um, if you have any other questions, then I'd be happy to answer them, but I can feel it in Bobby's expressions underneath that mask that he is getting a little antsy. I gotta shoot. We did have some other business to be taken care of as well. It popped up before, uh, after I planned this uh, meeting, so it's, it's this kind of this one. tightly. I'll, I'll take that damn thing That's not creepy at all. Nah. Now, you're not as bad as somebody else I've had uh, the pleasure of meeting quite recently. She likes wearing a mask and carrying around a chainsaw and just popping out from behind. <laughs> <other> <laughs> that, that's funny. Daniel, he doesn't even know. Uh, you, you won't be having to worry about that woman anymore. I can promise you that. Okay. ETA five minutes. Um, this is actually kind of a matter that I would okay. like to speak with you gentlemen about if you have a moment. As a matter well, of fact, um, I'm going to call in one of my security boys if you might have a second to talk about uh, anything you may have noticed about anarchy. I'm sure you do know who we are, right? I I've had the distinct pleasure of meeting a few of your gentlemen before. Bill, you are taking right, care of the well, zombies um, in the town, right? Well, I can yeah, play this in, um, right. Dr. Yeah, Allen, I gotta, open you. Oh, see, I gotta you, go to uh, a, a, a business right, right, meeting. Um, if you ever do need the pleasure of my family slash company's help, do not hesitate to ask. I will keep that in mind. As a matter of fact, here, let me give you my card real quick. 
A man who carries a card in these times, that's impressive. User disconnected from your channel. I'll say this, um, Miss, uh, you do know who the, hmm, let's see. You do know who this woman in the mask name was, right? I believe her name was Sarah. Yeah. You know, we're proud of our work, I think. I think Dan's pretty proud. You know this woman is not a good woman, right? But she gets this contract, right? Let's just say we need some stitching up to do if she is still uh, kicking around to come bother you or anybody else. If you get my meaning. Understood. No, I'm 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 somewhat confused here. Um, no, I remember hearing a while back on the radio that you boys got into a little bit of trouble um, with uh, with anarchy. Actually, I keep forgetting to call my man. And then, Vic, go ahead, copy. You want to come on ahead and meet me down at the bar? Tell him one of the uh, leaders of Black Roses wishes to speak. Quite all right. Uh, one of the leaders of Black Roses down here would actually like to speak with you. Uh, I figured you boys could compare some notes on anarchy. Everybody, we're going to have a friendly approach in the bar. Please do not shoot on site. Do you know what well, direction? Anything you can think of off the top of your head might be able to help them. Might not be able to help us in that department. And if you could get a brief description, that'd be cool too. Can I get a, if your man is coming in, can I get a description of what he's wearing and what direction? Uh, he'll be dressed in all green, most likely has some kind of uh, very natural looking camouflage on his shoulder. I can't remember what you call that shit though. It's, it, it's some military stuff snipers like. Alright, there's gonna be a man approaching in a ghillie suit, I believe. That's right. the name of it. There we go. I'll say this, the anarchists are beatable. Uh, we did, um, basically called him out. It was pretty stupid. Called him out, uh, got to I see him already. fight in Severgrad, um... He's in the uh, we had over eventually here. lost, but we didn't, you know, pop a couple of them. Then the next day we, uh, popped a couple of them there and got away with that. Other than that, we have I don't think them. that's ours. Not Irish, Irish. Cool. Irish. I'm glad to see the his man. That's their guy. The way a lot of locals talk about them, they treat them like gods. Okay. Don't mess yeah, with them, uh, don't even tempt I kept hearing someone over there, but I could never spot them. Here, where? To the right of me, where he's coming down from. Uh, so the, Your they, left, if you look at me. Tape Damn, him. SVD using Kuhn. <laughs> Alright, he's fucking SVD. He comes clear, he comes clear. Yeah, he's Hello there. Pleasure to meet you. It's good. I'm uh, presuming you're the man named man. Vince. Yes, I'm speaking with him right now. He's coming down. Uh, we, uh, Victor, alright. He's, he's right there in the field. Look. Well, let's not keep them waiting any longer. Be advised, friendly approaching the, approaching the pub. Uh, let's look. Quite an outfit you got there. Come across the field right now, I can see the pub. They uh, tell me to do what they have to do. Uh. Yep. I can understand that. Even They're going. The, some people in this country, they are not as pleasant as... Those. Individual right in front of us? Uh, right you don't have to tell us. me about them. I've had to take care of you myself. Aaron? Aaron? Yeah, that's right me. I'm across the right. field heading towards right. the uh, oh, I orchard. Yeah. Alright, keep on clear, keep on clear. 
are not immune. Oh, hello again. So the bile is. It's good. No, the the good to see you again. You have the bile and there's the no you too. turning back. You will be depressing. I am. Um, I trust Earth. that besides this help, I trust that. Uh, Do you think that you and the doctor this that bile is perhaps so caused by acute renal failure look, or perhaps look. liver failure? Right, or could it could just be, to be something yeah. even more yeah, advanced correct. than that? Better have friends and enemies, right? Exactly. See, that's the weird part. I'm not entirely 100% sure. Um, majority of, the of uh, what we've been able to ascertain here is that it causes a lot of different abnormal effects on the uh, human physiology. What to do, of if I had to yeah, go, go ahead. ahead, it maybe had something to do with the with uh, the esophageal cysts that we've noticed and infected. Well, oh, oh, this is my man Victor here. Twenty yards in front of you. Uh, yeah, so we've um, already had the pleasure of meeting multiple occasions. Uh, anything suppressed? So, so. Take it out. Alright, I was just making you aware. Well, uh, do you mind relaying the information? Sometimes things that you are relevant, with me Bobby. And, uh, anarchy, so you can potentially pass this on to his superior. Right. The. So, yeah. Um, what I've learned, they they always take us over. Yeah, that's no secret. They do like to hang okay. around around Gorka, which I'm pretty sure that's one of your towns, isn't it? They like to pass through there, and um, they were spotted near Dubrovki today. Um, Jesus. They they do go. They have their own little route. They either go from Severgrad west to Nova P, what, keep going west, and then get Lapatino, or they'll go down from Severo to Gorka, and then all around down south. So, two okay. major routes I've discovered, uh, myself. Other Something than that, I have that inside noticed. It's, it's strange, but the last couple of times that I've had the terrible misfortune of meeting these anarchists, mm -hmm. one or two men, give or take, will come into an area, not always disclosing who they are, rarely will they, they will ask a lot of questions. They will pester you yes. to no end. There is, they have the um, yeah. representative, Mr. David. Uh, is that his name? I think his name? Yes. Yeah, um, and after and they have they heard this name. question the hell out of you, they'll leave. And if they deem you as a worthy target for them to rob, then approximately 20 to 30 minutes later, sometimes upwards of an hour, depending on your location, a gigantic force will come from wherever they need to. Okay. So a man named David Uli? Generic Uli scouting. Uli I think scout. that's his name? David, uh... David Anderson. Mm. Right, right, right. David Anderson. I think I've heard this name floated about. David Anderson yeah. will okay. be the representative. The Jackal, he's, uh... Either it needs to be him, or it'll be another man, kind of like a cocky voice come in, start asking questions, and then they don't like it, all of them come in. Okay. Okay. And you said they, they've begun going to Severo pretty they much operating. They go to Severo at there? least one to three times a day. They don't, they don't operate anywhere where I can see. Um, they hate military, and they hate anybody who doesn't want to listen to them. The so See, we the exact the, opposite of an anarchist. <laughs> the, the 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 place of operation we put them at was uh, between Cabanino, the airfield, Vibor, and Lopatino, but it says they started to reach out over to the um, yeah. I've to the seen east as well. I've seen them there a little bit, but they don't. Yeah, I haven't seen them there recently. There was one time when they kicked. Last time I saw them there was when they kicked Ling Long out, but that was a long time ago. I didn't even know so Ling Long was still moved. alive. Oh, I met Ling Long. And I had actually heard rumors of that man's passing as well. That's very uh, useful. You know what Mark Twain had to say about that rumors that. of death? When I have Life around... travels halfway around the world before the truth even put its shoes. I have around 15 uh. mercenaries with me and my family whenever you're ready we have a chance so we will jump yeah. at it when we're free to help strike them oh, okay let me write down what you told me I'll, uh, and if you I'll do learn. need it I do have a doctor with me Moxie my beautiful lady she uh, oh. 
she can provide assistance that way. If you do not have one, not around. I kind of, of course, okay. me as well. Okay, well, um, if you do want to, uh, want to write down all the assets you have available, um, I'll write down what you just told me and uh, I'll be able to give it to my superior. Alright, well, slap that in anyways. there. You are we stay out here practice. west mainly. We're, we'll find us a lot out here. Correct. Okay. Very well. well. Well, Doctor, I do hope to be seeing you again. As, I, as do I, Mr. Camille. Be right back. Alright, all my, all guys, all my guys, guys, except, uh, except recon, uh, recon can come down, can come down to the pub. We're about to leave. Come on, come on. Yeah. Except for who? Not exactly the best plan for us to stay in one place for all too long. Who? All things considered. I agree with you. Everybody we'll probably be heading out shortly recon after you two. After all of you leave as well. I do not know where we... I don't know, we might, uh... Oh, yeah. Alright, I don't understand what recon is. Recon is over the sure you'll figure overwatching. I recon is team. They Re overwatch. Recon is and, and, and overwatch are not the same terminology. Well, that's what I've always used. Okay, well, well that's why I was confused. What's next on the agenda for today? Jesus. Alright. I don't know if the eyes are put around. Can I give me information? Victor, I think right? Victor. Oh. If your people ever need um, arms, just let me know. Oh. Uh, uh, hold on. Thank you. Where? Near the church, where am I got beat up from? I think you, you might are need two more. I ain't seeing nothing. Copy. Alright, everybody load up in the trucks. Where you guys wanna head? See if there's a drink in here. You Holy know, fuck, there's a lot of people once on the age. Plan on crashing this one too? Probably. Come on, Liam. Come on, Craig. <laughs> Alright, where does everybody wanna go? Someplace safe. I'll leave it to the consensus. So, so I've got I've word got on, on where on Reggie, where Reggie is. is. Hmm. Who? Where? Who's Black Dryback? He's in Severograd. I could well, use that doctor. later. Just hold on to it. No, who is Black Dryback? So oh. Okay. No, no fucking clue. Moxie? Moxie? Everywhere's dangerous. Right here's so, um, where do you want recon team to meet for pickup? Right. Bobby. 